This is me, Neon Jacket, bringing you another episode on the, well, not an episode, uh, a guide on the forest. Um, today I'm going to be showing you by request how to get the modern bow. Now, uh, this is going to be very, very difficult. It'll be pretty time consuming, so be prepared for, well, taking some time out of your day on getting not just one item, but three, including the bow. So for this guide, you're going to need the climbing axe as well as the breather. These are both mandatory. They are a must. And I am over by the pit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the mountain. To the left of the mountain, there's a land bridge. What we want to do is cross the land bridge. And that will, we're just going to head up into the forest. And that should bring us directly at the cave entrance. Now there are a lot of cannibals in this cave. There are three, I believe, uh, three mutants, two Virginias, and one Armsy. So if you are going to do this, I do suggest you build a, a leaf tent and you save right outside the cave before you even go in because this is going to be a very dangerous journey. Although I have already cleared out the cave, so we aren't going to have a problem. As you see, I already crossed the land bridge, and I'm just going straight, and right there is the entrance. Now, um, about... You don't have to fight any cannibals or mutants if you don't really want to. You can simply just run by them and not be worried about it. Now, what I'm going to do, just to make my life easier. Combine three. Ah, oh, damn, can't do that. Alright, that's fine. So, as soon as we get down here, they're going to be introduced by a whole bunch of hanging dead corpses. Push through them, and we're just going to keep going down. And now we will come across the rope. There are, once we get into the big room, there are a total of five ropes that we will go down. Um, and I believe this is where you will have your first interaction with two cannibals and I believe an armsy. So be cautious. Now we're going to run straight back to these walls. And we're just going to break them down. Okay, now once inside, you're in this enormous cave. What you'll do after breaking the walls is hang left and keep going until you get to that rope right there. Uh, I'm going to just get my climbing axe out because we will need it for two walls once we start going down. Now once we're down here... Hold on, I need to turn some sound down. I'm just going to turn it all the way off. Okay. <clears throat> now, after getting that rope, we're just going to go down. And we're going to get to this rope. This rope is a bit lengthier. That rope is pretty short. Now, after that, we're going to look to the right. I don't... don't think that's a rope. If... Yeah, that is a rope. So, looking at the wall, you're going to turn right. Go down to this rope. This is the third rope in the big pit. This is pretty long. This isn't the longest. Wait a minute. Is this the rope? No, okay, good. So that's the third rope. After getting down this rope, we're going to look over to the climbing wall. We're going to attach, and we're just going to go all the way across. We're not going to go down. We're just going to go straight over, get over on this side, get off the wall, and then we're going to go down. So that's the first climbing wall. Now, here's the second climbing wall. We're going to attach, go over. T 
attach. Ooh, that was a close one. And we're just going to hug the wall. We're going to go all the way around to this. This is going to be our fifth rope. This is the longest rope. This will bring us right down to the bottom. Now, the old technique for this cave was to use the turtle shell, as you would, uh, how you, like, how you used to, um, you'd use the turtle shell like how you would to get into the pit when that was a viable way down to the pit. Now, after climbing that rope down, you're going to get over here onto this artifact door, and you are going to just run straight. <clears throat> I'm gonna get my plane axe because we it will we will eventually have to break down another wall, but from here on it's pretty straightforward. You just run away from the rope the only way you can. Let me make life easier and make it a bit more visible in this cave, and we're just gonna keep running straight. Of course, the second I put cloth on my axe, it decides to put that. So after going through there, we're going to hug this wall. And then we're almost there, actually. So if you're here with me, huzzah. Kudos to you. Now, there's this little window that shows you the big room. In there will be three Virginia or two Virginias and like two or three maybe four cannibals but from there we're going to turn around look back the way we came and we're just going to go down this small rope right here and after going down this rope there is an air canister right next to the rope so if you somehow don't have enough air canisters from picking up the rope either um then there you go there's an extra one. Now, from the rope, we're going to look at the wall and turn right. And we're going to come up to this campsite. Now, what I suggest doing is save here. Um, so just save there. Just to make, to reassure your chance of getting the bow. And do remember, or do take in like fact that this is going to be your only way out. You're going to have to go back. The way you came in. So if you don't kill things on the way down, you're gonna have a fun time getting back out. Now we're just gonna keep going straight from the campsite. We're just keep following this, and then here is the third, or was it fourth? This is the fourth and final wall. We're gonna break this down and go through, and we will be welcomed in this enormous room. This is where. You gotta be careful because there are two Virginias as well as a few uh, cannibals. Although they won't be in here for me. But they just be weird. You don't have to fight them at all. Now, from, from the wooden wall, which is just there, we're gonna go out and we're going to hang a right. We're just gonna follow these, uh, the like stalagmites to the right. And just right over here with all these skull candles is the pit that we need to swim in. Now, we're going to equip the rebreather. We're going to go dive in. Now, this is pretty easy to uh, to swim with. It, the rebreather, without the rebreather, you won't be able to see anything. Now, we're just going to keep going forward. It will eventually force us to go up if and when we reach the location and I can see the top of uh, the surface. So I'm going to start swimming up. Yep, there's the floating legs and wonderful stuff. And now once you swim through that, um, you're going to jump up. You're going to be greeted by this campsite. I'm going to just light the fire to get more lighting. Um... Now, from here, you well, you're done. I'm going to unequip the rebreather. And right over here on the boxes is the compound bow. Well, modern bow, but in real life it would be the compound bow. Um, now, 
just in case you don't know how to get the rebreather in the modern or the climbing axe, um, I will put links in the description of the previous videos I have made with getting the rebreather as well as the uh, climbing axe. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoy your compound bow. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Comment if you want to see anything specific uh, guide-wise. There are only a few more guides that are left for me to do, and after I do the guides and I finish those, I plan on, or I'm thinking, I don't necessarily plan on it, but I am thinking I might do a, a mini-series of this game. So if you wouldn't mind seeing that, then please comment saying that that would be something you would be interested in seeing. Hope you guys enjoyed, and remember, shine bright, neon bright. Bye!